on this video, we're going to talk about a three-point saddle. Uh, we don't really want three-point saddles in our bins, in our lengths of conduit, but sometimes we have to. We'd much prefer uh, the less bins as possible between our boxes. But on the floor, I've put together like an example that we might have to deal with. When we're running along a straight edge, we come across something that's round, and we have to saddle over it. In this case, I've put together like a box here for our starting point and a round piece of pipe. And we're gonna be trying to stay on the same flat plane, but then saddle over and then get back to the flat plane so we keep our strapping and run with the form of the building. In this example, of course, we're gonna have a bender. We're dealing with three quarter inch EMT on this video. We're going to need a pencil, a nice level magnetic preferred with a 45 degree angle. We got our starting point measured out from the center of our obstruction. Our obstruction is 40 inches away from where our starting point is, the box. The box 40 inches away from the center of this. The height that we're going to deal with is right at showing four inches. Now we want to make sure we got space over this. So we're really looking at an obstruction that is a little bit less than four inches, but we're going to make it our bend at four inches. Always go up a little bit to give you a little bit of space. So we don't want our pipe touching whatever we're trying to jump over. The hard part about this is laying out where our marks go on the piece of pipe. We got 40 inches from here to the center of that. We've got a nice card that uh, Amtec has logoed up. And it tells us on our card, we have to deal with what's called pipe shrinkage. With three point saddle, when we bend this pipe, it's gonna shrink. We're gonna come up with where the center of this is, we said that's 40 inches. We know the height is four inches. On our card for a four inch saddle, we look at our card, our card says that we're gonna have three quarters of an inch. For four inch of a rise, we're gonna have three quarters of an inch pipe shrinkage. So what we're gonna have to do, we measured out 40 inches from our starting point to the center of our obstruction. We're gonna put a mark to represent that, but we're gonna add our pipe shrinkage in this case, that pipe shrinkage is three quarters of an inch. So we take our pipe and our tape measure, we lay it out, we find 40 inches. We add three quarters of an inch. So that puts our mark right at 40 and three quarters. Now, again, we only have 40 inches from center of that to the beginning of our pipe. We're gonna run that all the way around with a pencil, not a Sharpie, a pencil. And that's our mark A. That's the establishment mark. We need to know where that's at. We go back to our card. And our card tells us where to place our other two marks because this is gonna be three different bins, hence a three-point saddle. So for our three different bins, for a four-inch, we're gonna have a 10 inch measurement, a 10 inch measurement reference from A. So from A, we're gonna go 10 inches this way. From A, we're gonna go 10 inches that way. And we're gonna do that. And that's gonna be our marks B and our marks C. So starting from A, we go back 10 inches. We'll place a mark. We'll make that mark all the way around the pipe. We're going to go from A again, go this direction, and go 10 inches, and make that mark all the way around. The way this looks is we're getting that, trying to make that center out. Now, if you notice, I'm three quarters of an inch overhang on my box now. That's going to shrink up. On our card, it tells us how to place our bender what marks to use on our bender. And this is a little bit different than doing other bends 
because on our bender, we have a three point saddle mark or the back of a 45 indentation on the bender itself. We got two different indents on this particular bender. Our A mark is gonna go on the teardrop, not the star, the teardrop, which is the back of a 45. Our first bend is gonna be at 45 degrees. Our other outside bends are gonna be 22 and a halfs. And we gotta bend our A first, then our B, then our C. Here's the way that looks. We're gonna place our bender on the A mark, which the A mark is there, right where that indent is for the teardrop on this particular bender. We'll place it on the floor. Make sure we don't lose where that's at. We put a lot of foot pressure on it and we bring it up to 45 degrees. 45 degrees on this bender. A little bit past straight up, straight up would be 30. Using our level that has a 45 degree mark on it. We place that on there, it's magnetic, it holds. We can look through the viewfinder. And we bring that up to exactly 45 degrees when the bubble stays between the two lines. That's exactly 45 degrees according to my level. Now for that's mark A and that's the, the first bend. It looks like that. And we're on this indentation referencing the teardrop. Marks B and C, we're gonna use the arrow. But we're always gonna keep the front of this bender, the hook of this bender facing A. And that's important. We're always gonna be looking at the obstruction with our hook. So what happens, we take this and slide this pipe forward, and spin it around. It takes a little effort here, a little long. And we'll put it on the arrow. And we gotta look down the pipe and look down the bender, make sure it's lined up straight, best we can. This is where things get off. We make dog legs because we got a little bit of twist in it. And it's hard not to do this. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of looking down it and just finding the, the right look that looks straight to you. That looks pretty close to me. Now when I put pressure, I'm gonna put pressure right here. I'm gonna lock it in with my foot and my shin. To make sure this bender doesn't fly away. And I'm gonna put a lot of pressure right here and pull it down to where I think 22 and a half is. 22 and a half is on the side of the bender. So really you're looking for a parallel between the pipe and the 22 and a half mark. It's a judgment. It's hard to judge correctly until you get a feel for it. Just a little bit more. Somewhere right there, it looks kind of close. So look down at my pipe. I can already see I got a little bit of a dog. It's gonna happen. Now we take the pipe out of the bender, change sides, and put the pipe back in the bender for this C mark. Now the C mark, we're putting back on the arrow. We're looking the hook toward the obstruction. We'll try to keep everything straight as we can. Make sure our mark is on the arrow. Straighten it up best we can. Again, like I said, that first one has a little bit of a dog in it. We'll deal with that in a moment. And we'll take this and we'll try to put that 22 and a half on this side. Cool thing about this, is EMT. Once we get a little bit bent on it, we can actually spin it around and complete it on the floor. See, it's hanging off the floor right now. All we're gonna do is put a foot pressure there. It's gonna kick it up a little bit. And eventually, it'll get pretty close. Now, a little heavy on one side, got a little, looks pretty decent there. What happens with this, off the floor, just a little bit here, and it's got a little heaviness on this bend versus this bend. 
With EMT, you can do this. You can actually push down on this, take that little bit out. You look at it this way here. You can actually take a little bit of that out until it lays pretty flat. This is EMT. You can play that game rigid or larger pipe. Not so much. What should happen is this mark right here should be center up with that as it gets to this box. And that's what we're looking for. So that's center. It's not touching. Got a little bit of space underneath. You see that little bit of space underneath? We want that. We're right at the box, 40 inches. This, remember, was over here. This pipe shrunk. And that's a three-point saddle using the 45 and 22 and a half bin-filled method. 